Hey everybody, it's Thea Daniels with Raw Vlogcast and we keep it real, authentic, and I talk with people who are willing to share their passion. And this lady right here, I got lucky to meet her, is Judy Kirshner. She is the one and only president of the Petaluma Music Festival. So Judy, we were talking and I thought, oh my God, I gotta do a vlog with this woman. You're running the show. Tell us what motivates you. What motivates me is knowing that we get to, uh, whatever proceeds we do make from this show, all go right back into the schools. So uh, our motto is uh, keeping music in the schools and therefore it goes to their music programs. And knowing that math, music, math and science are all interrelated and what gets cut first is usually music and arts, uh, we realize we need to help them out. And that I have to give those props to Cliff, who, who was one of the two along with Mark Mooney, the past president. Uh, starting this whole festival 15 years ago. It's our 15th year. Um, and yeah, we just want to make sure our kids know and understand how to play music and that it's there for them in the schools as best we can. And it's even more than just the, ma the math and the science. Absolutely. There's the arts of the music, of Absolutely. connection and sharing your soul. With and and it, the community it builds, music and food build oh, the yeah. most amazing community. <laughs> what do we have here? Music and food. So yeah, that's. Give us a behind the scenes. What's it like getting all of these amazing, diverse bands together on three stages? Three stages, yeah, it's it's a lot. It's um, Cliff does a lot of that heavy work, but we all have sort of some input and say this is who we'd like to see and who can we get. It's always working within a budget, of course, um, and our budget's never enough. Yeah. Um, but it's it's you know here's the day, but this led up what led up to today started uh, probably last September. Wait, August, November, so August, September. Yeah, there I am. Uh, what started, what, what this day came about as of like next month, we're already in motion. We right. give ourselves a month break, start sort of slowly talking about next year, and that's so it's, it's a year planning. Um, and the last two to three months are a lot more crucial when we have to get in touch with the, the bands we have hired, get the information about backline, what they need, who, how many are in their bands, and contracts and such. And usually it's, it's not terrible. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Well, what's your background? Um, my background, I am a recording engineer, mixing engineer, and uh, actually, strangely, the last 15 years doing a lot of mastering. That's my trade. I'm working a little more in the film business now in film post-production, but um, a number of years ago, I, st I started in Live Sound, then about five years ago, I met up with Royal Jelly Jive, and we were doing recording for them. Uh, had seen a few shows, and the sound was terrible. This was very early on. And I just said, please, I'll do your sound. And so that got me back into live sound is the point of that. And um, so I'm a sound engineer by trade. Okay. And that's probably the best way to put it. So you, you're a solutionist. When I can be. Yeah. You know, I can create my own problems just fine. But I can also. <laughs> <Can't we all? laughs> um, so that's it. And I, I got here because I about, I didn't even know, seven years ago, eight years ago, I think it was, a, a, Somebody I work with at, at the ranch, at Skywalker, uh, his band was playing here and he asked if, you know, I could do sound. And I said, sure, or he put out the word for sound and I volunteered and realized at that point there were a lot of, uh, well, it, problems and there was not a cohesive production system. So um, at that point I stepped in and I said, well, my kids go to school here at Live Oak Charter. So they benefit directly from the festival. This is how I can give back. I can you know, deal with production and know it's in my wheelhouse. Sweet. And it, that was seven or eight years ago. Perfect. Here I am and somehow, they, somehow somebody thought I should be president last year when dear Mark Mooney <laughs> left. So here I am. Go figure. President, go figure. Hi and mom, hi dad. Uh, yeah, up, up there somewhere. proud of her. If they were here, they'd be proud. Yeah, yeah, they definitely yeah. would because you've got a good thing going. And, and then we were mentioning real quick about the fairgrounds here. The fairgrounds. Save the fairgrounds because it is the heart and soul, in my opinion, of Petaluma. It is not just my opinion. It's a lot of people's opinions. We can do this because it is um, a local community spot. And there is something here every weekend. It's actually triple booked, double booked this weekend. So there's somebody already setting out in, in front on Sunday, which was interesting. But you know, this is this place is booked every weekend, and if it goes away in any manner, we're all we all lose. Yes. And so um, Joe Joe Fairgrounds, love you, uh, Christine. I know there's way more people that are pushing to save the fairgrounds. You know, changes the nature of everything. I get that, but 
we've got to somehow, if we're going to do change, we got to do it that allows us to be able to do this, allow Rip City Riders, who gives lots of money to the community for various things, all of us who do put on shows or events that give back to the community, we need our space. Yes. And, and this is it. This is the heart and soul of Petaluma. Um, I don't know how else to say it. That was perfect. Thank you. Spoken like a woman with passion and purpose. And that's it. And how old are your kids now? Uh, 15 and a half year old is here somewhere. She was volunteering this morning and my 20 year old, uh, 21 year old is in Frankfurt, Germany and uh, just got uh, noticed that she was accepted to the university that she wanted to go to and proud of her and you know never took German until she got there 10 months ago and is a fluent German speaker now which blew my mind so. You did good mom. Thank you ma'am. Still doing good. Thank you, yeah let's get this music <laughs> going and Here keep the kids growing. Yeah Ooh, absolutely. I like that. That was good. Yeah. Keep it growing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Do you. I get to celebrate and share you with everybody all over the Facebook world uh, and the good it's, stuff? It's not my way but I will allow it and I will ask you please because I think the message that we need to get out is bigger than just what I care for or want or and when you like it and then share it and then share it Absolutely. and then share it and the Absolutely. word gets around and we keep the good stuff going and growing yes yes indeed I like that I got that with the heavy okay, metal we'll it's go like this way that's right <laughs> right on cheers everybody thank you thank you so peace. much peace